this is Vinayak Mathur from BM Rapid Solutions and in today's video I'll be showing you how to use float limit controllers in Autodesk 3ds Max so and be, uh, be patient and wait watch this tutorial till the end for you I have a surprise trick which I'll be showing at the end of this video so please stay till the end of this video and let's get started let's fire up Autodesk 3ds Max and working with 2014 version till the time it loads I'll bring your attention to my YouTube channel it has a lot of tutorials and videos and lots of cool stuff which you might not want to miss so please subscribe to my channel and you don't have to worry of getting new videos into your each they'll directly come into your mailbox and subscriptions list without you searching them manually coming back this would be your start screen so I'll just escape this for right now and let's create a box which has an which has a lid which can open only till a certain limit now let's see how to do that Let's create a box in the top panel and press Alt plus W or Option for Mac to maximize the viewport. Hit G for removing the grid. Right click on the object, convert it to editable poly. Press 4 for selecting the polygon mode or you can click on this plus icon and go to polygon or directly come and select on this square click on the top polygon right click inset but this time you will select the square next to the inset now choose the amount of border which you want to give to your box from the inside click tick if you are happy with it Click on the square to get out of this mode. Uh, sorry, uh, just stay on the polygon mode with this selected. We'll extrude it in the negative direction to make this box hollow. So right click again square near the extrude button. Make it go to negative. And this is one half of the box. And now let's quit the polygon mode. Use your scroll wheel to click and pan around and move your scroll wheel up and down to zoom in and zoom out. So press W on your keyboard to select the move tool. You get the gizmos. Press shift and drag it on the Z axis. You can determine which axis you are being using by select move hovering over it and the axis which get highlighted with the yellow color is the direction where you are moving so let's press shift and move it in the z direction this will create a copy of the box this will there will be a dialog box saying the clone options click on copy and select ok you can come on the top toolbar and click on angle snap toggle or the shortcut is letter A A for alphabet press R sorry press E for rotate and on the X axis you will rotate the box until you see 180 in the numerals coming on the top you can see if I move this around there are numerals which are being changed just above the gizmo Rotate it till you see 180 and let go. Now again press W to come in the move tool and bring it to the bring it above the other half of the box which we just created. Press Alt plus W on PC and Option for Mac to minimize the viewport and come into the front viewport. Zoom it a bit, zoom in a bit and go to the uh, press 1 to get into the vertex mode or click right here 
or you can even go and click on this plus icon and select vertex now click and drag all these top vertices and bring them down so we just created a lid for the box let's push this down a bit sorry get out of the vertex mode and now push this down a bit you can better see uh, see that from the front viewport and that's it I guess yep so now I'll come to the left viewport I'm switching between viewports by alt plus w or option on Mac now come to the third tab over here which says hierarchy select affect pivot only click on center to object and then you get this gizmo right here now pull this down till the bottom and push this back till the point where you want the hinge to fit and now if you see first I'll toggle off the affect pivot only and this will set my pivot point on that portion on the back side in the center okay so now let's try opening the lid again press E for rotate 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 it around the X axis so this acts like a opening lid but the problem is I can do reverse or cyclic motion unlimited of time so how to control this float limit controller will allow us to only rotate it from the point we want sorry like if I want this from moving from this point till here or till here and not more than that even if you try to move that won't work so this can be done using float limit controller how to do that is our next task hit W for getting back to move tool come on the fourth tab which says motion minimize everything you see over here just come to assign controller and zoom that in by pressing the plus key now we want the lid to rotate on the X axis so we'll come down over here to rotation and select the X axis X rotation come over here there is a assign controller on the top click on that we want float limit controller select OK and you'll see a float limit controller dialog box which sets a lower limit and an upper limit for the object to move this can be for position for rotation for all three axes single axis whatever you want so for this I want the rotation to be starting from this point as you can see right now till about 190 or 180 degrees on the other direction so what will I do is I'll select the upper limit to be 0 I'll select the lower limit to be 190 180 let's try rotating and see what happens it is not moving in the direction we want so what does that mean is that the lower limit should be 0 and the upper limit should be 180 and if now we try to do this this will go till 180 and will not move ahead no matter how much you scroll and it will not go beyond 0 no matter how much you scroll so now how do you define the upper limit and the lower limit for most scenarios the upper limit should be the rest point like in this when the box is closed this would be the rest point for the object the upper limit and uh, sorry the lower limit would be the rest point and so in this the box when the lid is closed it will be the zero in lower limit and upper limit is the maximum amount the box will open so 
this will open maximum till 180 so we will put 180 in the upper limit that's it this is how float limit controller works and uh, the special surprise which I talked was is a technique that right now if I want I can even rotate this in any other direction or haphazardly suppose if you want to you are working in a production team where you are the modeler and you want to restrict the movement of the object before you send it to the animation department so what will you do is you will put a float limit controller on the x-axis as what we did so that the lid opens till the certain point but what if he just and by mistake animates this rather than this that will create an animation which nobody wants so how to limit or how to restrict a user from making it move in the wrong direction that is simple you can come over to motion sorry you can come over to the hierarchy mode click on link info and now in locks just let only the rotate x axis unselected and select every other box which will allow it not to move not to scale and not to rotate in any other axis other than this I cannot rotate it in any other direction no matter which axis I hold and move I cannot move it in any direction so this is how you lock or restrict the user from changing or doing unnecessary unwanted changes to your model so that's it for this video hope you like this video if you liked it please hit the like button if you disliked it hit the dislike button and click subscribe to get my videos directly into your mailbox and your subscription list if you have any query or question you can comment that in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you